This could be the most important Smash or Pass video you will ever watch. This could be the most important video, full stop, that you will ever watch. Today we're gonna be smashing and or passing on something that mostly goes unnoticed in video games. That's right. The pot. Unassuming little critters, aren't they? Mostly flying under the radar, but they're so smashable. The question on everybody's lips, though, is should you? If you'd like to play along in the comments, I would implore you to do so. I'm very curious what you guys are going to think about this. All right, let's begin. Pot number one, the Animal Crossing pot. What's that made out of, clay? Ceramic? What do you think? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy one of these pots. I'm gonna head on over to Tom Nook and I'm gonna smash it over his head. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna smash it. I'm gonna smash it right over his head. <laughs> and I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay, next up, the Minecraft pot. Look at that little guy. He's not bothering anybody. He just wants you to put a little cactus in him. Unfortunately, he will be having to pay for our sins. So I'm gonna say smash. Rest in pieces, Minecraft pot. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay, next up we have got Poltergeist. No, Poltegeist. Oh no. So this is a Pokemon who is a kind of a ghost in a teapot, hence the name Poltegeist. You know what? I'm sorry, I'm smashing this purely for the bad pun. I'm gonna have to take a sledgehammer and I'm gonna have to smash. Just the name of the game, guys. That pun is inexcusable. Ooh, okay, we have now. <laughs> we have got Iron Fist Alexander from Elden Ring. I don't know if any of you guys have played this game yet, but I have played the heck out of Elden Ring. Alexander is a pretty lovable pot character, but am I gonna smash? No, hell no, are you kidding me? No way am I gonna smash the best pot boy Alexander. I mean, first of all, he has a name. He comes in clutch during that Radan fight, charging across the field with you, spinning around. Also, he has a lovely, soothing voice, so no, absolutely not. Iron Fist Alexander? I spare you. You are spared. I thank you. Okay, next up we have got the pot from getting over it. All right, I have so many questions. <laughs> if I smash the pot, does the man inside the pot die? Is he like a turtle where the pot is fused to his body? Or is he more like a snail where he can just kind of slither out of there at any point? This is a very uh, important question. Is he nude? That will dictate whether I'm gonna smash or pass here. Also, how am I gonna smash it? Because this is more of a cauldron than a pot. And it seems from the game almost indestructible. You can fall from such a great height and no damage is done. So how am I even to destroy such a pot if I in fact choose smash? Also, can I even get close to this dude without him smashing me with his giant sledgehammer? This entire situation just seems like bad news bears to me. I think I'm gonna pass purely out of self-preservation. I don't trust like that. Pass. Next up, we've got the garden pot from Stardew Valley. Look, I'm gonna be honest, I have no beef with this particular pot. I think I'm gonna have to pass. Plus, it would break poor old Evelyn's heart if I smashed this. She gives you this pot. You telling me I'm gonna accept this gift and smash it in front of her? Hell no, I can't do that to an old lady. I'm not about that lifestyle. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> All right, next, the Pot Scorpion from Kingdom Hearts. As somebody who has never played Kingdom Hearts before, um, this is fucking terrifying. What is this thing? I'm gonna have to smash this thing on principle. This thing cannot live. Absolutely terrifying. Smash, 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 smash. And smash again for good measure. Okay, next we have got the flower pot urns from Banjo-Kazooie. If these are flower pot urns, does that mean there are the ashes of the deceased in them. If that's the case, smashing these is gonna bring no good fortune to you. That's the one thing you don't mess with. You don't mess with the dead. Plus, I couldn't do it whilst it was looking at me. It, it has eyes. It physically has eyes. I'd need to like turn it around so it was facing a wall or something like that. Smash it whilst it's not looking. I'm so torn on this one. I'll deal with the consequences. Smash. Ooh, next up we've got the Pot of Greed from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Forbidden card. Did you know this card is actually banned in the game? Also, look at that smug mug. I hate smug mugs. <laughs> I'm gonna smash the shit out of this guy. For that Jonker-esque smile. Get him gone, get him smashed. He has to go. Smash. 
did you really think I was going to do a pot smash or pass video without discussing what is probably one of the most famous pots in video game history? That's right, number 10. The pots from Zelda. I feel like a damn kid in a candy store. There are so many pots to choose from. So many types of pots, so many sizes, shapes, colors, styles. No wonder Link goes on a smashing spree every time he enters some poor civilian's home. They're just so beautiful and so smashable. Don't get me wrong, I feel so bad for that poor guy in Ocarina of Time in the guardhouse who has to stand there silently and watch as Link smashes all of his precious vases to his three hearts content. And then when Link leaves, he has to quickly reset them all. So when Link re-enters, he can get smashing again. It is a terrible cycle and I love it so much. And so I think we're gonna have to smash. We're gonna have to smash every damn pot in the entire Zelda multiverse. Every part in every timeline. I will find it and I will smash it. There we have it. My official definitive list of pots from video games that I would either smash or pass. Also, I'd totally fuck them all.